Hello everyone, welcome back to our scenes. In today's video, we will be discussing the remaining 15 questions of the class 8 KSEAB model paper. So, let's start with the 17th one. What is the difference between noise and music? So, the answer is, see, uh, while writing the differences, you need to take care that you are dividing your page into two parts and writing it as shown in the figure and not like a paragraph separately. So, noise is unpleasant sound, whereas music is a pleasant sound. Example given here for noise, horns of trucks, buses, etc. Whereas for music, it could be harmonium, sitar, etc. Next, this is a diagram. Diagram showing the structure of paramecium. So, you can see here on the screen. Next, what are oviparous and viviparous animals? Again, a direct question. Animals that reproduce by laying eggs, for example, birds, etc., are called as oviparous animals, whereas animals that directly give birth to young ones are called viviparous animals, for example, human beings or any other mammals. 20th question. In the simple circuit given below, the part X is tested by connecting pencil lead, sulfur and copper wire respectively. In which situation the bulb glows? So, here they have given us three possibilities, a pencil lead, sulfur and copper. If you connect the dots here, among these three things, the one which is a good conductor of heat and electricity is metal and therefore the answer has to be copper wire because copper is a good conductor of heat and electricity compared to the rest two. Okay, so these are two mark questions now. First one, sliding friction is smaller than the static friction. Explain. This is an or question. You can opt for this or the next question. So, if you are opting for this question, sliding friction is slightly lesser than that of static friction. Static means when something is not moving stationary. Because it is easier to move the object that is already in motion than the object at rest. Next question. This is the OR question. How lubricants reduce friction? Explain with an example. So, lubricant this could be any oil or grease or Vaseline, anything. So, when lubricant is applied between the moving parts of a machine, a thin layer is formed there and moving surfaces do not directly rub against each other. Interlocking of irregularities is avoided. So, there is no locking system happening over here and hence uh, whatever moving parts are present in your machines after oiling or after adding lubricants they are going to move smoothly thus friction is reduced so you can take any example i have given you the example of oiling sewing machine for smooth functioning next 20 second question what is fault zone what is the scale to express the power of an earthquake so fault zone answer Boundaries of the earth's plate are the weak zones where earthquakes are more likely to occur. So, these weak zones are called as seismic or fault zones. So, the same question may be asked you as what are seismic zones. So, you need not confuse yourself. Fault zones and seismic zones are one and the same. And the scale, the second question, answering to the second question is richer scale. Okay, so again here you are having a or question, state the loss of ref uh, reflection of light. Again a direct question which is already available in your textbooks. And the other one is you have to define lateral inversion and regular reflection. So we will start with the first one, loss of reflection. We know there are two laws. First one, angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection when a beam of light strikes the reflecting surface. Second one. Reflected ray, incident ray and normal lie on the same plane. Okay, now coming to lateral inversion. Apparent reversal of the mirror images. That is, whatever your left side you are having, in the mirror it will appear as your right side and your right side will appear as a left side in the mirror. So, this is lateral inversion. That is from right to left, left to right of any object. This is not just about you. This could be of any object. It is called as lateral 
inversion. Next regular reflection, when a beam of light that is collection of parallel rays hits on a smooth or polished surface. This is very important. You need to mention the surface is smooth and polished. So, when the surface is smooth and polished, it gets reflected parallelly. Parallel rays will reflect parallelly and this is called as regular reflection. Okay, so again our question over here. So, first question, product obtained in between the chemical reaction of iron, oxygen and water is tested with blue and red litmus paper. What changes observed in the litmus paper? If the color of the litmus paper changes, then which is the character of the product responsible for it? So, here you are making, uh, you are reacting iron, oxygen and water. So, when you react iron with oxygen, you are going to get iron oxide. So, iron oxide when dissolved in water, you are going to get iron oxide solution. Since iron oxide is basic in nature, your red litmus paper is going to turn blue and blue litmus paper is not going to show any change. Hence, whatever dissolved iron oxide when it is dissolved in water, you are going to get a weak base solution. Okay. So, next question. So, this, is, this was the answer for the first, if you are opting for the first one. Second one, iron nails are dropped to beaker A and silver pieces are dropped into beaker B. Both beakers have copper sulphate solution of equal quantity and concentration. Same type of copper sulphate solution is taken in both the beakers. In the beaker A, we are dropping iron nails and in beaker B, we are dropping silver nails. So, they are asking us where the reaction is going to occur and write the equations of chemical reactions formed in both beakers. Okay. So, the answer is in beaker A, iron will react with copper sulphate to give you ferric sulphate and copper. Whereas, in beaker B, no reaction is going to take place because silver is less reactive than copper. So, if at all the given metal is more reactive than the salt solution, then they are going to displace. Otherwise, the displacement is not going to happen. Next question, a student plans to prepare petroleum by using dead organisms in his school laboratory. Will his plan be successful? Support your answers uh, Sorry, scientifically. So, petroleum and coal cannot be prepared in laboratory in any case because their formation is very, very, very slow and conditions for the formation cannot be created in the laboratory. They are the results of decomposition of living matter under huge pressure and heat for millions of years. So, definitely your school laboratory is not an ideal place. Next question. Observe the diagram related to human reproduction given here. Answer the given questions. Very simple question. So, they have given you A and B. Name A and B. So, it's A is supposed to be sperm and B is supposed to be your ovum. Process, name the process going on here. The process going on here is that of fertilization. Which is the structure formed after this process? Definitely after fertilization of male and female gamete, we get zygote. Next question, again an or question, what is electroplating, what are the advantages of coating chromium on other metals? So, electroplating is the process of coating a metal with a thin layer of another metal by electrolysis to improve the metal's corrosion resistance. So, again a direct question, this answer is available in your notes. Advantages of chromium plating, chromium protects metals and give a better experience, sorry, appearance and hence it, it, see, how does it protect metals? It uh, does not allow the metals to undergo rusting or oxidation. Next question or question, tin cans are suitable than iron cans for storing food items. Why? Tin is less reactive than iron and hence food inside the can will not react with iron. That is the reason why we are using tin cans because the food has, should not come in contact with iron. Okay, so this is a diagram, candle diagram which is available in your notes. Next, again a diagram of animal cell, it is available in your textbook. Okay, now moving on to the next question that is 30th question, again an or, which are the general preventive measures of malaria and the second question, pasteurized milk cannot be consumed without, can be consumed without boiling. 
So control measures for malaria, sorry, basically we are supposed to stop mosquitoes. So covering windows with mosquito nets, keeping surroundings dry and clean, spraying insecticides on stagnant water. And pasteurized milk does not contain any enzymes or microbes and hence it is ideal to drink even if you are not boiling. Okay, so there is a second part for the question. Which are the general preventive measures of tuberculosis and use of vinegar prevents the spoilage of pickle? Why? Prevention and treatment for tuberculosis include BCG vaccination, giving special attention to the patient, regular medication like DOT. And again for the vinegar, use of oil or vinegar, any of the two can be done, prevents spoilage of pickle because bacteria cannot survive in such an environment. Moving on to the last question, 31st question, 5 mark question, list the effects of force on an object and what is pressure, nails have sharp edges, why? Effect of force, force can make a body that is at rest to move. Second, it can stop a moving body or slow down. So first one is the, uh, second one is the vice versa of the first one. Third one, it can accelerate the speed of a moving body. That is either it can increase the speed or decrease the speed. It can also change the direction of moving body along with its shape and size. And the last one, what is pressure? Force acting on a unit area of a surface is called pressure. A nail has a pointed end so that the surface area is less. When surface area is less, pressure increases, which makes it easy for the nail to be driven into the wall or wherever it may be inserted. So it will easily penetrate through whatever surface you are beating on it. So here your KCAB paper comes to an end. Inshallah in the next videos we will be coming up with more content. So if you like my video do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.